Hello and welcome back to another video where I show how you can get Hypixel Skyblock items in completely vanilla Minecraft with only command blocks and no datapacks, plugins or mods. And today's item is going to be none other than the Rogue Sword. And the Rogue Sword is kind of an not very good sword, but back in the day when I when the game was very fresh, people used it to gain a lot of speed. Maybe you've seen Technoblade's video being the fastest man in Hypixel Skyblock and it's kind of... Yeah, that's why I made this item. So, as you can see, I have a golden nugget right here. And when I drop it on the ground, you can see it says Rogue Sword now active. And that is pretty cool. So if I now drop the golden sword right here, this is just a normal golden sword that I got from the combat menu right here. Uh, if I drop it with the rogue sword now active thing, I guess from the golden nugget throwing it, also just a completely normal golden nugget, I get the rogue sword ability. And it turns into a rogue sword, which is pretty cool. And you also gain some movement speed and you are going to have this ability for 30 seconds and during this time period you cannot use it again so it's not possible to stack the ability which makes this item uh, a very passive ability which doesn't make you like totally OP which is pretty cool and as you can see when the time limit is over I can use the ability again and I go very fast and it's pretty cool but I also made it so it's kind of like a durability thing so as I said it's not very OP and that's uh, I can and as you s just saw I lost the sword after using it two times so uh, if I want to do it again I have to get a new golden sword and then I can use the ability twice again so yeah this is actually <laughs> it this started as kind of a bug like an error with my code but i thought that well maybe i should just have it like that because uh you know things can be somewhat op with my items sometimes and the rogue sword isn't supposed to be like a very good sword so i thought that well that may be a good idea because in survival minecraft if if you want these items in survival minecraft on your like smp with your friends it's kind of dumb to have like super op items that can one hit the ender dragon and and stuff like that so yeah this is kind of not very op but it's surely a very handy item and you are going to gain good abilities from it so yeah it, that is how the item works and now I am going to show you how you can make this item and get the commands to use it yourself. So now we're going to quit this world and I'm going to make a new world. Uh, just to showcase I'm gonna make it in a peaceful mode in creative on a super flat world. And it's very important that you have allow cheats on because if you do not, you are not going to be able to use the command blocks. So now let's just make the world. And the first thing you are going to do when you load up in the world is go down in the description and get the document in Google Drive that is called Rogue Sword Commands. And this is where I write all the commands for the command box you are going to need to place. So yeah, uh, the first command is very simple. This isn't a command you need to, uh, this command isn't in the, you know, text document, but you're gonna do this command to get command box. So you're gonna give and then your username or at P, uh, like this uh, command underscore block with the minecraft in front of it and now you're gonna get this command block so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to make a three high tower here and a three high tower here 
and then I think this is a seven height tower. Is that seven? What does it refer? Yeah, that's seven. And that's the first step. So these command blocks, this is the structure you want. And now you're going to make the command blocks uh, like you're gonna make them have different uh, uh, things down here. So as you can see now all of them is on impulse and conditional needs redstone and it's some difference in what they're going to be and it says what they're going to be in the text document down below. So just to make it simpler I'm gonna have the numbers written on those command blocks so you know which numbers go to which command blocks. So now I've numbered these command blocks. As you can see, the first column of three command blocks is the command block one, two, and three. Then the second column of three command blocks is four, five, six. And the last column of seven is seven and all the way up to 13. And this is like in ascending order. So this should be pretty easy to make, but I'm gonna just have this image here for a while so you can properly see where, which numbers go where, because this is very important. So yeah, I hope you've seen this now. And in the text document below, you can see that uh, there's, it says the number and it says, for example, chain conditional always active. So now I'm just going to change what all of these uh, say down here. So yeah, great. Now I have correctly made the things down here be in the way they should. So as you can see, these ones, these blue ones, they're on repeat on this first one and the green ones, they're on chain. And uh, all of them is actually on always active. And then uh, the green ones is on conditional and the blue ones is on unconditional. So the last thing we have to do now is to fill in the commands and this is kind of the longest process but it's going to be pretty quick too. So I will get back to you when I've done that. Nice, so now I have filled in every single one of the commands into the correct command block and if you're wondering where I got the commands from, again it's in the text document, there's a link to in the description and it's under each number, it says the command that you are going to need. So as you can see here, if I right click every single one of these command blocks, it has the correct command inside of them. And now the last thing we're going to do is what I've labeled as pre-commands, which you are going to do uh, without the command blocks and you only need to do once. And I know it says pre-commands, but you can also do it afterwards you've done uh, these command block things like I'm going to do now. Uh, that caused some confusion for some of you in the last video, so... Uh, no, not the last video, the last uh, time I made command blocks like this. So, now I'm going to show you what these commands are. Uh, first, you're going to do slash scoreboard objectives add rogue activate minecraft.drop.minecraft.goldnugget now you've done that one and the next one is slash scoreboard objectives add rogue ability minecraft.drop colon minecraft.goldensword now you've done that one and the last one you are going to do is this one called game rule command block output false and that one is actually optional but uh, I suggest that you do it because if you do not do it it's going to look really really weird uh, as you can see if I don't use it when I do the dropping of the gold nugget it says the output of the command blocks which is kind of annoying you could say so therefore you're going to do the command slash game rule command block output false and when you now use the uh, gold sword or rogue sword uh, it's going to be much 
a much better experience and it looks very cool. So yeah, that was actually all for today's video. If you need any help, you can contact me in my Discord server, which is the second link in the description. But that was all for today, so I hope you enjoy using these items. I surely know I do, I actually used them some in my survival world, even though it was kind of... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't use them like... I didn't cheat, okay? But this was very fun. So I hope to see you again next week. I upload on every Tuesday. So yeah, bye.